welcome back to this new session of Axel Tech Live. Thank you for being with us today, and uh, thank you Enrico Vaccari for being with me for, the, for this new session uh, live. Ciao Simona, thank you everybody. Uh, so Enrico, well, says mm, director, uh, is here today with me uh, to recap, okay, everything that's new uh, in our consoles family. So uh, I would like also to uh, recall the names of our uh, consoles. We have here Oxygen 2000, Oxygen 1000, and Oxygen 1000 Rack. Maybe some of you missed these new consoles, even if we traveled a lot this year again, hope, uh, luckily. Uh, and uh, we had the chance to show um, this new lineup um, to all the customers all over the world in the exhibitions. But still, if you didn't have the chance to uh, meet us uh, during the main exhibition all over the world, um, we are going to present them again today and also to introduce some new features. Uh, so I would like to start, Enrico, from a brief recap of this console and app. So what's the uh, most important uh, thing about this uh, lineup? The major update uh, we did in the last uh, month is the fact that starting from this month, from November, we have the Oxygen 2000 available with five microphone inputs. So before it was uh, equipped with three microphone inputs and today uh, we only have the five microphone input version. So every console is delivered from today, it will uh, be released with five microphone input. The addition of these uh, uh, features also includes the capability to connect the uh, top box, so which allows a, a guest or a presenter in the, from the studio to control its own uh, uh, microphone uh, mm -hmm. on and off, uh, cough button, and plus uh, headphones volume. So the extension is really completed and I think it will increase a lot the appeal and the uh, possibility to adopt uh, Oxygen 2000 in any on-air studio. For sure, and uh, just to um, recall it to our uh, audience, um, Oxygen 2000 has 12 faders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with our um, oxygen remoter, it is also possible to add plus eight virtual faders. Yeah. Uh, and now we have the possibility, the chance to um, have five mic, so mono inputs. Correct. Okay? One talk box is embedded in the console, so mainly the presenter doesn't need an external talk of box. And we can connect up to four, so Perfect. the other four inputs. Um, so every guest may manage his own cough button and uh, headphone, etc. Exactly. Okay, that's the great. The same top box, of course, can be connected to the Oxygen 1000 and also to the Oxygen 1000 in REC version. Okay. So Again, REC version is mm -hmm. something that has been introduced recently, Yes. which is definitely uh, the same hardware of Oxygen 1000, so it provides the entire uh, range of features of the Oxygen 1000, mm -hmm. and, but the, the chassis, the shape, the, the format is intended to be fitted into a REC. So this gives the chance to be easily remote controlled, mm -hmm. uh, but also to be installed in a special environment such as an OB van or a small recording studio, where there's a need to optimize uh, space on the surf on the on the on the table, mm -hmm. and we we really believe this will give a, a, an a, an extension of the range of application for the entire range of. Consoles. Of course, and the Oxygen 1000 rack can also be used with some external surface. Yeah, definitely, yes. This is extremely interesting. We're using the remote control, Oxygen remote control, which okay. is the big screen behind me. And uh, the uh, uh, remote panel, like a MIDI interface, uh, can be connected to the remote computer and enables the uh, physical fader even if the operator is far away. It's uh, operating from a remote place. So 
in combina the combination of the remote uh, control software plus a MIDI surface will definitely allow you to mm -hmm. operate as if you were on with hands-on on top of the console but you are actually operating remotely. Okay, it's a chance to enhance the capabilities of this kind of unit of course and if I would uh, like to, um, to say to our audience if you are not aware uh, about uh, some um, features that we just mentioned for example the oxygen remoter uh, or uh, the firmware update something um, that is very crucial for this kind of equipment uh, you have the chance to check on our youtube channel uh, there are plenty of um, small videos uh, pills that are going to explain to you how to update the console how to connect uh, uh, with the oxygen remoter etc okay so you can uh, easily uh, recap all these features and uh, being able to use your console at 100% or to know the console if you are planning to purchase one uh, so again everyone that is going to purchase an oxygen 2000 from now on uh, is going to purchase a console with five mix Okay, so a uh, very important uh, change, but we have some further change, um, especially in the chassis of this unit. Exactly. The chassis has been uh, adapted to, be, to allow the console to be installed uh, as a desktop panel. Mm -hmm but as well to be built in into the, into the furniture, into the studio, tape, studio table. Okay. And so, um, as you can see, there's a flat panel today, mm -hmm. which perfectly fits into any desk mm -hmm. and allows you to do a very clean and neat installation in the studio, hiding cables and wiring. Okay, nice. So we basically just adapt the shape of the yeah. ch chassis, just in order to have the perfect shape to be used both on top of the table or to be um, again um, built embedded in. Uh, yes built in uh, in the surface okay so in mm, you have the the chance also to test if you're not sure to cut the furniture <laughs> okay and then cut it later um, don't be afraid because the shape is still nice okay we just adapt it uh, for uh, having uh, the, the both possibilities correct and the same uh, happens the oxygen with oxygen 1000. 1, okay. Um, there is also another uh, some small change in the surface, in the graphic surface. Yeah, the, this is an improvement related to the firmware. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking on how to properly set uh, all the parameters of the console. Uh, as you may know, there are plenty of functions and features to be configured. And uh, how to achieve the settings and the configuration of the mm -hmm. unit without any computer, so with uh, the consoles uh, itself. And we enable four buttons on the panel here, which allows you to browse the entire menu, settings, input and output, configurations, uh, uh, DIP control, the DIP port to connect a remote, uh, to connect the unit at the network mm -hmm. and uh, achieve a remote control through the um, oxygen remoter. So simply pressing the four button on the on the on the right, yeah. then you enable a menu which allows you to browse the entire menu. And let me show you how. Just pressing these four buttons, as you can see, the HDMI output of the consoles replicate the the menu. Maybe someone of you could be f it's familiar with the menu we have on the Oxygen 3000, the previous version of Oxygen 2000, and uh, there was a display, a large display on the front on the panel. But today, in order to minimize and keep it as as compact as possible, we decided we figure out this clever. Uh, capability Way. to browse the menu and do all the settings as you can see we can reach the audio input and sources uh, uh, and output sorry snapshot uh, general settings services and updates so the entire menu is definitely available on uh, any HDMI output the of course the consoles provide an HDMI output mm -hmm. which can be connected yeah. to a ordinary any screen, ordinary screen uh, and and that's it 
So no That's need great. to no need to have a computer to configure your console. Okay, so we just have a very uh, easy shortcut from the console surface to recall the um, all the setting uh, parameters. Okay, if the console is connected to any screen. Uh, through the HDMI cable. Correct. Okay? Uh, we are going to show in another screen the um, nice um, square that is around the four uh, buttons that you have to press all together. Uh, so it is very easy and uh, um, I believe that uh, it's another uh, easy feature. We are, we are always improving our product in order to be uh, very easy to, to be used even if you are not familiar with them. And I believe that this is a new um, nice feature. Uh, last but not least, since we were mentioning um, the features and the capability of the um, firmware to be yeah. constantly um, updated and developed with new feature, uh, we added a new um, n nice feature, uh, the Automix. Exactly. The AutoMix is a new feature available on any of the three models, so both the three, 1000, 2000 and 1000 rec. The AutoMix is a source, uh, as you can see from the menu, we can select the input source and we mm -hmm. can easily retrieve the source called AutoMix. What's the AutoMix? The AutoMix allows you to combine multiple microphones mm -hmm. on a single feeder. This is extremely interesting to be used for uh, a show with maybe a self uh, uh, control of the consoles so while you are both while you are on air and at the same time you have to control the console yourself. This gives you the chance to easily manage and control the, the, all the microphones mm -hmm. with one single feeder and internally the menu will show you all the possible configuration in order to have automatic attenuation and compression on mm -hmm. all the sources and uh, uh, the benefit is that again one fader for example if you have a small panel like the oxygen 1000 allows you to control three microphones while the rest of the uh, faders are for still free. available for other sources. So the AutoMix is really a big added value, which also inherit all the settings of the single microphones. So, and you can associate and decide which are the microphone associated to the AutoMix and which are not. Not only if your guest uh, switch, and let's say during the day they switch position from microphone one to microphone three, mm -hmm. this allows you uh, to automatically adjust and control the gain and the level of the microphone uh, without intervening on any single uh, source. Okay, so without intervening in, in any single uh, fader, let's say, you can control all the inputs that are at microphones, once. of course, all together. Okay, that's very nice. As you said at the beginning, the we keep working on the development of the console in order to make it every day more easy to use, uh, taking advantage of all the feature, even if the operator is not a super technician. So yeah. that's the goal of our uh, latest development. Great. Uh, so I believe that for today, uh, we showed everything that's new for these consoles lineup. Of course, in the following months, we will have plenty of new uh, things, to new announcement actually um, to, to give you, so please stay with us, stay tuned and um, uh, if you are not following our YouTube channel it is the right uh, moment I believe <laughs> to uh, follow us, so just click on the bell here, here above and uh, follow us uh, for everything that is coming in uh, 2023. Thank you again Enrico for being with me uh, today and uh, thank you all and thank uh, you all. See you very soon. Bye. Bye bye.